All right, we have reached the high school football playoffs, and Newport is 8 and 0 in D3, one of only two unbeaten teams in their division, along with Winnesquam. At the as the top seed in the North Conference, the Tigers will host fourth-seeded Summersworth from the South Conference on Saturday. In six of their eight regular season games, the Tigers held their opponents to eight points or less. They average almost 42 points per game on offense. This is a whole new season, and the Tigers know it. Oh, like every week, uh, week to week. I mean, we've got to execute. You know, we've got to we're who we are, and, and people know that. We, you know, we run the toss sweep, we run the sprint drawer, and, and uh, we run our fullbacks. And uh, we just need to execute, and we need to play good defense. If we do those things and do them well, uh, then usually good things happen. I think we've had a lot of young guys step up to the plate. We've had some positions coming in this year that we had to fill, and they did a pretty good job stepping in. So. It's been pretty crucial in our success. CJ looks like a tough linebacker there. High school football power pole after the regular season. Goffstown, Bedford, Salem, Pinkerton, Timberlane, and Exeter see a two, tie, two teams tied for fifth. Then the rest of the top ten, check this out, three teams tied for tenth. That means we have 12 teams in the poll. I'm not sure we've ever had that before. The only team out of all of those in the poll not to make the playoffs is Winnicunit. Some tough luck for them this year.